Next up on WTV, a virtual improv event, new security cameras, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, October 7th, and I'm Madigan Gunia with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. The theater department is ready to host its first live performance of the year. WTV's Stephanie Cho has the details. The Red Hawk Improvisation Troupe is kicking off its 2020 to 2021 season with the virtual show tomorrow at 7 p.m. on Zoom in a performance that will be a bit different than a normal improv experience. So usually from most Usually from the in-person shows that we've done in the pa that have been done in the past, uh, they've had like a live audience. We went up on the auditorium, we had a platform and the students sat on either side of it. But in this case, obviously, since COVID-19, we can't do that anymore. But we've had an alternative. We have Zoom, the new hip thing. Everyone is going to be in this Zoom. The people in the improv and people within the actual like improv cast, I guess, the audience members, they're all going to be within one Zoom meeting, but the audience members are going to have their screens off and then the improv kids are going to have theirs on. You'll be able to tell who they are. It's sort of that sort of deal. It's a bit different way to do improv, but senior Johnny Anderson hopes for the same results. My main goal with the show is the same uh, that has been done with every other improv show, and it's just have fun. Like, improv isn't anything complicated. It's not some... It's not meant to be stressful. It's meant to just be fun. The idea of it, it's intimidating at first with the idea that you have to go out there and you have to say just whatever comes to your head. That can be kind of scary, but in practice, it's really not that hard and it's something anybody can do. Reporting for WTV, I'm Stephanie Cho. Obviously, there are a lot of different things about this year's school year, and there's one thing that's new that may not be noticed, but it's certainly watching you. WTV's Cooper Regal explains. Back in the spring, the school took down its outdated security cameras and replaced them with the latest technology, giving school administration and school resource officer Glenn Hubbard a better look at what's happening on campus. The biggest difference is the clarity and um, the positioning of some more cameras. So we have we have eliminated a lot of our blind spots, um, and it's just so much clearer, and you can focus a little bit. You can actually dial in on what you're looking at a little bit better to see it a little bit closer. The other ones you could, but it didn't work that well. And the reason for it is this 12 year old technology, so they're just redoing everything. In addition to simply giving a better view, the new cameras increase campus security. Oh yeah, you can um, definitely recognize people a lot easier. Um, you see a lot more detail, um, a lot more movement. Um, it's just better. I don't even know how to explain it. When I first saw them, it's just, they're just so much better. Hopefully this is never an issue, but mm -hmm. for school safety, if there was someone on campus that wasn't supposed to be, how much of a difference do these new cameras make on trying to find or identify someone? It makes a huge difference because you can see their face clearly now. Um, and then without the blind spots, um, you are able to track them through the school and they set it up in right. groups so you can track through the school real easily. Um, so the camera system is fantastic. Reporting for WTV, I'm Cooper Ragel. WTV's TJ Kerlowitz brings you today's Sports Minute. Volleyball traveled into Coyote territory yesterday trying to take firm control of second place in the district. The Red Hawks had a successful hunt last night as they won their game 3-1 to one to the Coyotes. This win brings the Red Hawks to a 5-1 to one record in the district, which gives them the second best record in the district, only behind Lebanon Trail, which is their next opponent. The Red Hawks will battle against the Trailblazers on Friday at 545 at Lebanon Trail. Tennis competed in a match against Independence yesterday, trying to win their third game in a row. But the Red Hawks could not keep their win streak alive as they lost to the Knights 14-5. The loss brings their record to 2-5. Their next game will be against Wakeland on Friday at 4 p.m. at the Nest for their last home match of the season. For WTV Sports, I am Akil Katuri. If you are looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Please remember October 14th is PSAT Day for 10th and 11th graders. 
9th and 12th graders will complete asynchronous learning from home that day. Red Hawk Improvisation Troupe is excited to present virtual improv. Join on Thursday, October 8th at 7 p.m. The Zoom link will be $5 to join this event. Help support the fight against breast cancer. Order your pink out shirt by October 11th by midnight. Pink out game is October 30th. Shirts are $10 each. To order a shirt, visit the link below. All proceeds will be donated to the Susan G. Komen chapter. Grab your Liberty 2020 class tee. These shirts are a great way to show your Red Hawk class pride and are perfect for football season. During homecoming week, these shirts can also be worn as a dress up day, so get your shirt now. Order by October 16th by midnight. These shirts are $12 each. To order, visit the link below. That's it for today's daily update. This is Madigan Gunya with Wingspan TV.